Today's experiment is with magic acid. Magic acid is a type of muriatic acid. Like so. <laughs> this is what I have always used to clean my seashells. I don't really mess around with hydrogen peroxide, vinegar, bleach, blah, 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 blah. I cut right to the chase because this always works good. If you want your shells cleaned, it works. It, it skips out the bullshit. Okay, let's get real. I have recently, I guess like in the last like year, been reading how, been, how people have been using magic acid instead of the plain old muriatic acid. And I'm like, okay, this is just some like whatever, like marketing scheme. It's like organic or clean or something like that. And I'm like, it's not going to last. Well, I kept seeing it. Now I don't see it at all, which is kind of weird. And online it's really expensive, but it eats hardware is like $12. So what we usually use is just muriatic acid. All brands work the same. It's just pool acid. <laughs> We're going to try magic acid today. And we are going to compare the two and see if there is really a difference and if one works better than the other. If one works better than the other, we're going to start using that one. <laughs> okay, so let's do it. This is my cleaning table. So first we have to take away all these rocks, but also make sure that there's nothing in here. Pools, concrete, stone, brick, tile, porcelain. Balances and controls pH in swimming pools and spas. Dissolves calcium, lime scale, and rust stains. The cleans, brightens, and etches concrete. So, okay. Uh, acid magic. Maybe corrosive to metals. Harmful if inhaled. Will cause eye damage. Normal. Add acid magic to water or use full strength if necessary scrub surface oh lord i feel like this ain't gonna work if it says scrub oh scrub surface before rinsing oh never mind i, I usually use one whole gallon and then you know same amount of water this i'm going to use pure and then i'm going to do half and half so i guess we'll be doing three experiments today oh my god let's go grab a knife Shell number one and pure magic acid. I guess you leave it in for 10 seconds. The bottle doesn't say. Oh, shoot. Two, three, four. Cut that off. Rinse it in water. And there you go. Oh shit. Okay, so that's like 10 seconds. <laughs> so we'll be doing everything for 10 seconds. Now we're going to add water to the acid magic, magic acid mix. This is getting like soapy, foamy. Okay, do our next shell. 
Let's see, we have this guy here. Let's see how it turns out. Let's go for 10 seconds because that's apparently how long we let the last one go for. I wasn't counting. So here's our next victim. This is a muriatic acid. 50% water, 50% acid. Normally we would do 3 seconds, but we're going to do 10 seconds just like the other two. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it looks cleaner. It's brighter, like it's more white. Compared to the other two, this is muriatic acid, magic acid half and half, magic acid pure. Um, so that's our, our experiment. So it's really interesting. Um, at first I was like, this sucks, this magic acid sucks. But honestly, I, I think it works um, like just as good, I think. I'm pretty actually happy with it. I'm gonna do some more shells and see um, you know, how it works on different types of shells and stuff. Um, but I, I, I like it. We also have all these shells to clean. And then from past shelling trips, we have that to clean. And it is a huge bucket, don't be fooled. <laughs> I'm gonna, in a different video, actually I'm gonna film it tomorrow because it's getting kind of late and the sun's going down on me. I'm going to go through these with you guys organize, and show you how I organize my shells at mass quantities when I'm done shelling them. And then we're going to clean them in acid. So that's going to be tomorrow. The conclusion today is that they are all the same. And I don't know if you agree with me or not. It's kind of hard to tell, right? <laughs> uh, but I think they're all the same. Even the concentrated version to the ratio with water turned out to be exactly the same. There's more bubbles used in concentrate, but the end results were the same. So I would say if you have to choose, just choose what you want. You know, this brand is more expensive, only by, you know, anywhere from three to five dollars. It's not that much more. So if it's there, grab it. If not, grab a different one, you know, grab a cheaper one. Disposing this, make sure you like pour it into the water, like dilute it, and then just throw it on like some rocks, cement. It is a cement uh, sealer, whatever. Um, weeds, dirt patch, doesn't matter. Um, you know, your neighbor's driveway, get rid of that oil. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> the other thing I wanted to say is that, you know, the rumors going around that it's uh, healthy, it's it's much natural and organic and fumeless. It's, it's fake, it's fake news, not true. It might've been put out by the company or just, you know, people that didn't know better. One last thing, make sure you practice safety. I do have to say this because there's a lot of videos on YouTube that um, have people doing it incorrectly. They're doing it inside and you want to do it outside. Outside, long sleeves, shoes, eyewear, and face mask. Just be prepared. If you get it on you, put water on yourself, you'll be fine. That's it. I'm gonna go outside and start in the next video. Bye guys.